Hi folks, this is uh, Frankie Schoenfeld, or uh, known as Spaz88. I uh, want to show you a little something you can do with your uh, bone scent here. I just got this, uh, it's just a brand that's sold here at uh, Long's Outpost. Uh, LEM, Custom Blend, uh, Backwoods, Cure, Sausage Season Maker. It's like a trail blend bologna. And it's a pretty simple recipe. It's on the uh, back. It tells you and the directions exactly what to do. And I'm briefly going to go over that with you. Uh, you take five pounds of uh, ground up hamburger. Uh, you can add some pork fat to it if you want to. I don't. I just re use regular deer meat. Well, no additive. I take the season pack. And five ounces of water, and it's in the directions. Take the season pack and the cure pack and mix it into just a regular old uh, measuring cup. Get the five ounces of water in there, your cure, and your season pack, and just mix it all together. Then pour it on top of uh, five pounds of um, ground venison. Uh, mix it all together and make these little loaves or little sticks. They recommend you make them uh, 10 inches long and about 2 inches in circumference. And that's pretty much what I do. And the directions are pretty easy. You make them little uh, loaves, put them in a cookie sheet pan or in a, fry, uh, a flat pan, put it in your oven at 300 degrees, and let it bake for one hour exactly. Uh, when it starts getting this real cured look to it, it is done. And then simply what I do is uh, after it's cold, I let it cool for about two hours. And it's a pretty simple process after that. Uh, you can either cut it up into real small chunks. And like put it on top of pizza or whatever you want to do or mix it in with your spaghetti or you can cut a little heartier of a chunk uh, put it on crackers and uh, with cheese and it's really good uh, I typically do this a couple times a year with my ground up venison and like I said it's a pretty easy process all you gotta let it do is cool off and actually sometimes I'll cut it in real thin strips and you can use it as like a pepperoni uh, on top of pizza and it comes out really good. Uh, I just made this batch today at lunchtime. I'm going to cut it up here now and get it cool off totally by putting it in the free, uh, refrigerator. Um, you can actually take, I'm going to take half of the five pounds I made today. I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to put it in the freezer. You can freeze it. Just like... It's just like the bologna you get made in a butcher shop. I like actually doing it myself. Uh, the overall cost is minimum. You just have your time in it and the season pack. If you're uh, wondering about what to do with your venison, uh, I'm not. Uh, in this area, we have a lot of people that like venison, uh, but some people don't like the the steaks or hamburger. This is an efficient way of using your uh, meat. And it tastes really good. Uh, me and my daughter has been chewing on it about all day since I, I made it here at lunchtime. Uh, like I said, not a lot of people were uh, fans of venison, but they do like the bologna. And this makes for uh, a nice gift to give to people uh, to show them how hard you've been working. Like I said, it's a pretty simple process. You just got to put a little bit of time into it. Like I said, I'll cut up all this five pounds, uh, keep two or three pounds out so we can eat it, and uh, simply just put it in freezer bags or uh, food saver bags and put it in your um, uh, freezer and let it let it sit there till you're ready for it, maybe around the holidays or uh, you're having a party or something, you can break out some of this, unthaw it, and it makes for a pretty good table fare. We actually really enjoy it, so uh, that's two and a half, three pounds that we'll have uh, sat out. It'll actually go pretty quick. So, like I said, there's not really much to it. it just takes a little time, it takes a little bit of your time. 
like I said, you can cut it up in thin enough strips where you can use it as uh, pepperonis or uh, baked spaghetti. You can put it on top of baked spaghetti. You can mix it in with lasagna. You can do pretty much anything you want to do with it. But it does make good table fare. And I really enjoy making it and I really enjoy handing it out to people. Um, thank you YouTube for posting my videos and thank you viewers for watching. This is Spaz88.